Over the next few weeks, we'll be sharing with you our Malta episodes. Stick around and let's go on a journey together. All right, so we just exited the airport. We got in our rental car and uh, we're ready to explore the city. Now, something that surprised us both right before we came here, since Malta was a territory of England, they drive on the other side of the road. Olivia's and my favorite thing to do when we're driving, drive on the other side of the road. Are you scared? Not anymore. Okay, that's good. Something that already really stands out and we haven't really even gone through throughout the city, even before we landed, is all the walls the city has and the medieval feel it gives, but at the same time, it feels like we're in the Middle East. Something that's really interesting that we've noticed since we got here are the balconies. So I noticed them when we were driving when we were first coming to the city and thought maybe it's just like an odd one but now being more in the city we're noticing that it's pretty much every single balcony is like this and they're pretty much like these little boxes that come off of the building and it seems inside they have doors so it's almost like a separate room off. So it'll be really interesting to read up on why that is the way it is, where it came from. So we will get back to you on that. So we finally found a place to sit and eat Jakey. We are sitting at San Giovanni. It's kind of like right in the center of Valletta. And uh, we're waiting for our English breakfast and avocado toast. We're super excited to dive into this food. And so I got the English breakfast. Surprise, surprise, there's a ton of signs for English bread. I think that's probably one of the most famous breakfasts here. And um, so, yeah, so I'm excited to just dive in and uh, we'll let you know how this place is. It's probably very touristy, not. Well, let's see, first bite. The ones in England were better. It's an avocado toast. The bread's good. It tastes like a very like classic table bread, if that makes sense, where you get in a lot of like Mediterranean countries. It's just like the table bread, bread of the house. It's nice. Well, we finished our breakfast. It was a bit disappointing, to be honest. It was right across St. John's Cathedral. It was a bit disappointing. Uh, at least we ate. <laughs> but at least we ate and we feel a little better now and we have some energy. So where are we off to? We are off to the Baraka Gardens. Oh. We are going to see the Daily Cannon shooting, <laughs> no, that sounds weird. <laughs> we are going to see the, the cans being fired, which they do every day at 12 o'clock.
All right, so on our first day of arrivals here in Malta, it also marks the beginning of the carnival season. And behind us, we have a float, but it has a message to stay safe. And it actually has a mask right here. Um, so I guess this would be a good time to tell you that Malta claims to be the first country in Europe to have reached herd immunity with a virus. So it makes me feel a lot safer and less anxious about traveling traveling during the virus and um, yeah it's good to be here I'm excited to explore we are currently at the botanical gardens which is part of the University of Malta and it's a, just a very peaceful place to be honest there's lots of cats it's interesting because they look very different than the cats that are all over Greece they have, they have the longer hair, whereas in Greece, most of them are short hair cats, I think. So the botanic gardens are super close to the center center, maybe like about a 10 minute walk. Yeah. Highly recommend it. Not nearly as many people as they will be in the center. And it's so beautiful and peaceful. I'm getting really good vibes being yeah, here. Too. I like it. Are you getting good vibes? But you know what's going to give you good vibes. What is it? Um, I don't know, Maria. You gotta smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It helps us so much when you hit the like button because the algorithm spreads our video to other people like you that would be interested in watching our content and it helps us to continue our travels and taking you with us. Beautiful botanical gardens like this one. Yeah, so let us know down in the comments uh, your thoughts or where you want to see us go next. Okay, so should we give them a cool fact yeah, about this country? So. All right, so uh, on our research to come here, we learned a really interesting fact, Olivia. So the, the Maltese language, so they have two official languages here, one being English and the other one being Maltese, the native language, and it's pretty much an Arabic language, but it's written in the Latin alphabet. Yeah. So it, you, when you hear it, it sounds Arabic, but when you read and you look at it, it looks Arabic, but it's not in the Arabic characters. It's in Latin. Yeah, and they actually have 38 characters in their alphabet, which is super cool. There's so many different sounds, so when you have more sounds in a language, the more characters and letters you need. True that. So this is the area that we parked in, and right as we were parking and looked up and saw this tree, this one as well, but this is the one that really got my attention. And it's just so beautiful and intricate how the roots are all intertwined together. It literally looks like a heart and all the different ventricles and valves and everything, but also it looks like a bunch of people just like hugging and embracing each other. It's very beautiful. So we finally checked into our hotel. It is really, really nice. The people are really lovely so far and we have a surprise view that we haven't seen yet. Let's check out their view for the next five nights. Welcome to Malta. Definitely don't mind waking up to this view for the next five mornings. Me neither. <laughs> we got lucky, we got one of the renovated rooms, so we're super happy right now. We're hoping that was gonna be the case. We got some really nice, comfy beds. Okay, there's a, there's a lot of bounce. I'm used to our memory foam mattress, but um, seems pretty comfy, so this is our sleeping arrangement for the night. Then we got two nice comfy sofas sofas armchairs yeah um we can sit and maybe like 
grab a drink, or maybe take it out in the balcony and have this amazing view. And I hear the sunsets are supposed to be marvelous. Ooh. And then um, they have this like cool, modern, open closet um, configuration, which is pretty neat. And then we actually have not seen the bathroom yet. Shall we check out the bathroom? So it's a bit tight, but it's really nice, really clean, and uh, big shower. 